Guys, it's been a while since I've taken the fox out for a good bashing. So guess what? It's time. We're taking it to the sandlot. Let's go. Before we go, I wanted to look at this pinion gear because it was making a little bit of noise last time and I certainly have a bit of a wear issue on this thing. Does not look even at all. Something's out of alignment. Hmm. In case you're wondering, the batteries I use in this particular vehicle, since it's such a major amp hungry thing, is the Power Hobby 9000 milliamp 75C soft case. These seem to actually do a good job in this thing. It's just a major amp hog. It can really pull the battery down. I slid the pinion over to kind of put it in a new position. Sounds a little bit better, but I got to figure out where the alignment issue is. More than likely in the motor mount. That's kind of a common thing on other vehicles. Guess we'll see how it is on this one. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound too bad in person. On camera, probably pretty bad. <laughs> Different driving style right here, man. Woo! Whoa, went a little bit further than what I had planned on. Oh my God! Whoo! Yep, another broken arm. Good thing I got a spare one. Wow, I got a long walk. If it will drive, I'm going to drive it. That's a lot of RC to just carry. Uh, not the most ideal way to return. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that was a heck of a hit. I mean, I would have been more surprised if something didn't break. So as best I can tell, the vehicle actually took that hit really good. This arm took all the major hit of it, which is actually a good thing. A full direct hit to the chassis would have hurt a lot worse. Not that that wasn't a hit to the chassis, believe me. But the arm took the hit. It ripped out. That's a nice, easy part to fix. So, hey, that was, this is one of the better brakes you can have. Well, that was a short run for sure. I showed you guys the arm broken. That's the only part that I can tell that is messed up. So, um, yeah, I got arms. When I broke the other arm, I actually broke the arm, the shock shaft, and something else, the uh, end or something, one of the end links. When I ordered the parts for this, you had to get everything in the, every, every part in a set of four. So I've got a spare shock shaft, three of them, three spare arms, now down to one. The arms are interchangeable all the way around as best I can tell. So yeah, that's, that's actually gonna work out pretty good for me right here. You can never have too many spare parts, especially things like suspension arms. Uh, you're just going to break them. And I do want to say that pass was a little bit too close for comfort. I should have just let up on the trigger, you know, and came back around again. It would have saved me a part and possible injury, but I kind of knew I kind of had it. But anyway, that was a little bit close, yes. So anyway, guys, in the description, I'm gonna link up the parts that I've got to fix this with, and I'll link up the vehicle, but this vehicle actually, for the most part, is stock. There really isn't a whole lot to this. Oh, 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 there was something else I broke. I actually broke the receiver lid off of this thing. And it's not just, you know, broke as in, you know, the little piece is still there where it clamps down with a body clip. That's gone as well. So I'm also, I'm going to have to dig into it a little deeper. But anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description, A-Main, eBay, Amazon, 
Red Cat, Walmart. Links are there. Use those links to support the channel. Um, hey, that's all I can ask for, right? So guys, make sure you're subscribed and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.